All right, everyone, here we go. This is the eclipse reading. It's a lunar eclipse and the sign of Scorpio. It's a pretty powerful eclipse. It ties to the last eclipse, which I pulled on, okay? The solar eclipse that happened back, oh, April 30th or around that time. Uh, it ties with all the energies that are in play. There are a lot of people out there saying a lot of things about this eclipse. I'm just gonna let the cards and the energy do the talking, all right? No big opening here about this eclipse, but its energies will carry us through you know, right up into summer, but definitely they'll be very strong for the rest of May. And if you saw my SLT news page for upcoming readings here in May, you know that there's a big push at the end of the month. There's a lot going on. And this energy is definitely going to play a role in that. And I've been talking about this eclipse. This is for all signs. It doesn't matter what your sign is. This is just straight energy reading. All right. Uh, it is general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. Let's see where we go. All right. The, the, um, as I talk to the universe, I ask about, you know, the effect of the eclipse on the soulmate cycle. What I see here is something we've been seeing. I see a six of pentacles somewhere. Somebody wanting to give to it. It's the, uh, it, it really is. I got ten pentacles crossing nine swords. Nines are the end. This is the end of someone overthinking this. They've been thinking and thinking and thinking. The eclipse helps to force action. It, it forces clarity, basically. So it, that's that moment where they think they can do it, right? They feel like they can do it. They're putting this down in favor of going after the rainbow, going after the whole deal. The Ten of Pentacles is everything. It's better than the Ten of Cups, which can be a little bit of fairyland. This is someone who breadcrumbed it, didn't want to give to it, ran to it, Wanting to give. How do I know that? Underneath it is a wheel of fortune. That means that what was is no longer. You know, they're getting past the wheel of fortune is bookending the nine of swords. That's how I know that that nine is playing its number. It's 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 the end. Nines are the end in tarot. Tens are the end and dead end that lead to new beginnings. But I've got a nine and a ten here. The suits don't have to match. It's no big deal. It's about the number. I got a, I got a 10, I've got a 10, I got a 9 to a 10, and someone wanting to give, and look at that, the deck split on the Three of Cups. One, the biggest card of communication for me in the Minor Arcana is someone opening up. Someone who's been overthinking this. Someone who's been thinking a lot about this. Up all night, pacing the kitchen at 2 in the morning with a bottle of whiskey. Let's shuffle the deck. Uh, let's ask the universe here to give us the effect of the eclipse that we're sitting on top of right now. It's happening at my house about 4.30 in the morning tomorrow on the 16th. I'm pulling this on the 15th, I believe. That being said, this first card out is before the cut. It's why the fuck are we here? It's my why the fuck are we here position. And look at that. See? I know what I'm talking about. It's the Ace of Wands. Um, there's a huge attraction here. There's a huge draw, a huge pull. Somebody wa wants this. Again, they're done thinking about it. Now, whether or not the 3D person follows through, I can't say, but there's a strong indication that they will. You know, I know that Six of Pentacles keeps coming up. It is Minor Arcana. It is up to their free will. I know what they want to do. I know what the energy is telling them to do. I can't make them do anything. But why we're here is because there's a new beginning coming here. Okay? What comes after the cut? Let's see what comes after it. Let's uh, see where we go here. This ought to be interesting. Uh, yeah, the King of Cups. Somebody want to open up. It's true. Somebody's been holding on to a lot of love here. The King of Cups holds the Ace of Cups. A little stingy about giving it. A little stingy about it. A little afraid to be vulnerable. You know, trying to keep their power a little bit. It depends on the context. It can read differently. It can be somebody who's generous with love. It can be. Or, or controlled in how they give it. It can be. But in this context here, this is your person who's been afraid to be vulnerable, all of a sudden feeling like they can. And that, and that message has been coming up in the readings a lot lately. All right? It really has. And I said the other day, I said I think during the weekly reading, I said it's in strong part to uh, because of the eclipse. And sure enough, here we are pulling on it, and there's that energy. Let's shuffle the deck. We'll give the deck a final shuffle. Give me the soulmate cycle and the effect of the eclipse that we're sitting on top of on it. Give me a reading, universe. Whoa. And I think it... It's done. It's <laughs> wow. Uh, you're gonna want to sit back for this one. Get yourself comfortable. Uh, this is gonna be a powerful reading. How do I know? The overall energy is the tower. Mm. Yeah, it's. I said this eclipse. And eclipses do this, but but Scorpio is a deep sign. This is a this is an eclipse in the sign of Scorpio. 
right? The moon, it's a lunar eclipse. The moon is in Scorpio. Scorpio is deep, really deep. You can have deep conversations with Scorpios. You can. This is a lot of stuff from the depths that this person is getting a lot of clarity on. Okay, what's crossing this tower? This tower leads to communication for sure. It's the five of pentacles. What they realize is they left themselves out in the cold. That makes sense. That makes sense with our reading. The five of pentacles. Without you, there's nothing. And I believe that's true. I pick that up in the energy a lot. Your person almost can bear what's on their side, the way they've been living, whatever it is, you know, relationship or not, because there's some hope for this connection. It's, it's the truth, in spite of what they may have told you. That's in the energy, no doubt. Let's, let's, the reading's on the flip. Let's see where we go. This is the energy around your connection. This is how your person feels in their emotions. This is how they feel in the soul about you, not what they show you, not what they tell you, or just the, the, the state of their soul in general. Um, right here is the uh, message from the universe. I will tell you what it says. It's read with the energy of the connection. Right here is the potential final outcome. I say potential because, again, I can't predict free will, but my God, major arcana, any reading where the overall energy is a tower, wow, um, that is a complete tearing down. It's a good tower. It really is. It's a, you want this tower. You do. Um, you, uh, I will clarify everything, throw some universe cards over the top at the end, and you can bet your sweet asses there'll be a link for an extended, no doubt. It'll be, it'll be in the description of this video. All right? Let's see where we go. What's the energy around the connection right now? Look at that. Eight swords. I believe it. This is your energy in particular attached to this, by the way. The divine feminine side can feel this coming. This, this tower, tower makes people uneasy. It makes your person uneasy because they, they, they get a lot of clarity on how they left themselves out in the cold for not being vulnerable, for breadcrumbing something that they really wanted, that they've been holding a lot of love for. Now they got to come in and open up, maybe eat some crow, you know? Uh, on your side, the Eight of uh, Swords is about you picking up on this energy. It might make you nervous. It might, it might rattle you a little bit. A, a tower can do that. It's like an earthquake, right? Even though you know it's just a minor earthquake, and nothing's really doing anything except some glasses falling on the ground in the, on, on the floor in the kitchen. Uh, it still rattles you when it's done. You know, even the small ones do. Take it from someone who lives in California. I can tell you, any little earthquake is rattling. You worry about it. All right, it's that kind of energy that's coming towards you. How do they feel in their emotions right now? Yep, they want some transformation. This person is changing. It's the death card. When the death card appears here, in someone's emotions. Um, a way they've been living. And again, this, this is coming to an end. There's a rebirth here. The energy is coming towards you. In fact, I think it's right on top of you already. Um, but also, when this is here, this is part of that clarity that the eclipse is bringing. The eclipse is bringing a lot of clarity for this person. They can see clearly now. And, I'm, and part of that is the, the core energy, the new core energy cycle that we're in, which is a sunny day where you can always see further, right? How do they feel in the soul? Let's see. Eight cups. That's what they're worried about. On their side, because I'm pulling on them here. On their side, they're worried it's too late. It's too, they're worried too much time has passed. That's why they come in so quickly. That's why they just show up out of nowhere. They're worried too much time has passed. They're worried you're moving on. Uh, also, with them, again, it ties to the death card. They're walking away from eight broken cups toward their nine of cups. They're taking a chance, but where the connection's concerned, there's worry here. And they're telling themselves all sorts of stories, generating fears about how it might be too late. I don't think it's enough to stop them. Our overall energy is a tower, and we can't ignore the cards that have already come out, from the pre-shuffle to the cut cards, etc. Remember, we're here because of an ace of wands. That's The, the energy is there for it. All right? So... I don't think it's enough to stop them, but that's what's going on there. What's the universe want to tell us? It's red with the Eight of Swords and yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, it's slowing them down. Everything, it's basically backing up everything I just told you. They will arrive. I think for a high percentage of you, they will show up slowly, but surely this is a reliable energy. It will reach its destination. There's no doubt about it. But I do think they're being slowed down by this Eight of Swords. And you might be as well. It might slow you down in your own life as you pick up on this energy. Please don't let that happen. Go with the flow of the energy. Take the lesson I gave you that the universe gave you in uh, the weekly reading I just pulled yesterday for the week of the 15th through the 21st. Please take that lesson. You will almost guarantee, because this is a very... Uh, re again, reliable energy. You almost guarantee communication if, if at least one side of this is cool because they're not cool. So you be cool. 
all right just let the energy flow let things happen I'm telling you that you'll pick up on this energy so it shouldn't be a surprise to you okay just just keep telling yourself well Steve said I'd pick up on this this is probably why I'm behaving this way yeah it probably is all right but uh, potential final outcome red with the death card what is it two cups look at that fucking hell who is your number one energy freak? No, I'm just kidding. I don't need to be nobody's number one. I'll take number two. There's less pressure. Right here, I'll take this number two as well. There's two soulmates coming together. It's communication when it falls here. So they really want this. I said I don't think this, this nonsense is enough to stop them. Eight swords isn't enough to stop them. This is a reliable energy. The only thing that can stop them is if you're both butting heads with eight swords energy. That might just slow things down a little bit. And it's a warning from the universe about that. This is communication. It's red with the death card. They want the soulmate connection. They fear that too much time has passed. Uh, the eclipse has given them some serious clarity. I mean, serious clarity. Think about if a house burns down, right? Because there's fire here. Think about if a house burns down. You get to see all the inner stuff, right? All, the, all that's left are the, are, are the stick framing, right? The, you know, the studs and stuff like that. But you get to see everything that was inside the wall. You get to see all the, all the shit that was in there, all the, the skeletons of the plumbing and all of that kind of stuff. That's what's going on in this eclipse. It's going on for you as well. You, they may be right. They may be picking up on your energy. Some of you might be done with this. You might be like, well, if this person comes in, fine, but fuck them. You, you could be. I mean, that, that energy is there, not all of you. But this here, that's, that's the ending we want. That's communication. Let's see what the witches have to say. Let's clarify. Let's do it. Uh, why is the Eight of Swords here? Let's see where we go. Sometimes it can all go to shit when we clarify, but I don't think this one will. This is a very, they're very clear here. It's a very clear energy. Why is the Eight of Swords here? This energy is coming in. You notice my, I'm... Um, my voice always because I have to swim in the energy right when I pull these readings it's a very smooth energy it really is it's really just yeah it's really clear they, they are again this eight of swords here they're generating a lot of that uh, nervousness I believe they're nervous they have to open up why is the uh, eight of swords here let's find out let's clarify mm, yeah um, it's Fakey McFakerman. They, it's the Queen of Wands. It's a card of attraction. Uh, the affecting energy of the Eight of Swords, at least where they're concerned, because it's bookend in the Eight of Cups, so I'll read it from their side. Uh, there's, there's attraction here on both sides, obviously. But th th this person spent a lot of time. I mean, that's why they're afraid that you're already gone. They spent a lot of time telling themselves, telling you, telling everybody how great what they had was on their side, or, or they don't want you, or this and that. There's a huge, somebody getting real here. The, the clarity that's coming out from this eclipse, uh, this tower card here, is a realization of what a prick they've been. Uh, their behavior, you know, how they've put themselves out in the cold. Again, that five of pentacles. Well, that's crossing the tower. Makes sense. What's on top? Knight of Wands. Uh, it's going to take a brave, impulsive action for them to come in. The universe is saying if they come in, this, this jobs with the tower energy too. If they come in, it's out of nowhere. They're just going to decide to do it. They're just going to have to. If they sit around and think too much, they're just going to, they're just going to create delays. All right? They are. And you will get away. And they know that. All right? The energy of the connection is because of this, because of all this bullshit, because there's eight swords here, there's, there's a likelihood that they come charging in. And it probably is a last-minute decision. All right? Kind of a thing. Why is the uh, Knight of Wands here? Yeah. The Emperor. Yeah. Uh, the, the Emperor's got to get off the chair, off the throne. It's true. It's why the night, it's a last minute. He's looking, he's sitting, he's longingly looking at you off here in the background, and you might have somebody else. There's two people there. Uh, they're just going to, you know, they're just going to break past it. It's the attraction of this connection and Fakey McFakerman seeing some clarity on their behavior, right, uh, that causes the Emperor to get up off the chair and come in. All right? And this also indicates it's the divine masculine that's coming in that's riding the uh, uh, knight of the, the horse here why is the death card here let's find out tell me about the death card and their emotions what's happening what is this why is the death card here all right witches want to talk today um, yeah it's a total turnaround for this person uh, a lot of the it's it's the magician crossing it a lot of it, major arcana crossing major arcana tells me uh, there's a lot of energies around your person 
And one of the things that's happening is all the illusions around them. That fakey McFakerman's getting real. You know, that Queen of Wands has been telling themselves for a long time, nah, I don't want, I, I don't want the collective. I don't want this soulmate connection. Nah. Well, we know that they do with the final outcome. And they're feeling it on a high level. Um, I, the, the illusions around them are being exposed. Their behavior, the things around them and things like that. And it's causing a real transformation. What's on top? Yeah. The, the world. It just backs up what I said. That's why the death card's here. The world. Everything I just said about the magician is right there. It just got verified. Uh, something's coming. It's causing a lot of changes. Uh, something. All uh, one, one of the illusions that's being cast off for your person is, is they're able now to see that a lot of the people around them, a lot of the things in their life are past their expiration dates. You know, it's moldy bread. It's shit. And again, this card always represents, or it has lately, the new core energy cycle that we're moving into, which is a sunny day. This card is a sunny day. Nice blue skies there, a little bit of cloud, but nothing much. It's a nice day. What's, uh, why is the world here? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Somebody, something you've waited for a long time. Something they've been wanting to do a long time. Whatever it is, it takes the Ace of Pentacles a while, but it's a solid new beginning. This person wants the real deal solid new beginning. That's, that's, that's what part of this clarity is doing. All the illusions being swept away. And you know, another energy, because energy is always in layers, around this magician card, there's another energy of they think they can do it. There's a confidence there within the energy. With, you know, we often get confident when we get clear on something. You know, uh, a lack of confidence often comes from a, a lack of clarity. We're not sure what's going to happen. We don't know. We don't want to. I don't think this person in this eclipse energy cares what's going to happen. They're worried that you might be gone, but I think they just feel like they can do it and they got to take a shot at it. I mean, the cards are backing it up. You can go ahead and thumbs down this video. Oh, he's, you know, everybody says that. No, it's right here. That's why I pull the cards. You know, it's, it's what they think. It's what they feel. Is your person, I mean, there's many layers of energy. Is your person pentacle-based still? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. It's, it's, a, it's not an ace of cups here. It's an ace of pentacles. But, it, but the ace of pentacles represents a, it, it is one, it's the slowest energy in the tarot. It takes forever to show up. But it is uh, the most solid new beginning. You know, it really is. It's a hand of God kind of a thing. You know, sometimes on the card, it's, it's, it, it's in a hand. It really is. It's, it's, it's a pretty spectacular energy there in their emotions. Big transformation. A lot of major arcana, including the most powerful one I can pull, the world. Uh, the magician is major arcana, crossing the death card, which is major arcana, and it ends in an ace. All right, that's very nice. Why is the Eight of Cups here? As if I haven't already said, but let's see what else the universe wants to tell us. Why is the Eight of Cups here? It's very laid back energy, right? I feel like I took a couple of hits before I did the reading. I didn't. But I feel like I did, you know, I feel like I, I picture myself, usually I'm in a kestrel field that I used to sit in when I was a kid watching kestrels hunt when I pulled these readings. Today I feel like I'm in a beanbag chair at, a, at some kind of party sitting next to a lava lamp and some chick telling me some story I don't want to hear, you know, but I'm digging it because I don't care. I'm too buzzed to care. It is what it is. That's kind of this energy. And you might pick up on that intoxication effect of the energy too. So keep that in mind. If you let the energy flow, you might feel pretty good. This is good energy. Bring, it, the eclipse is bringing you clarity too. All right? Why is the Eight of Cups here? This is nice. I like this. I don't know what this weed is, but I like it. All right. The Eight of Wands. Oh, the Eight of, eight of Wands. Look at that. Freudian slip. Communication. Hey, the Freudian slips mean something. It's not just because I'm in a beanbag chair sitting next to a lava lamp. That means something. I am perfectly sober, I assure you. Right here is the Six of Cups. Too early in the fucking morning, but that's 9.30 in the morning here. Uh, Six of Cups. Crossing it. Um, this person's been doing a lot. of. Th they're feeling this connection on a high level. The past life energy of this connection is flowing in. And I wrote an article about past lives. All right? Yeah, I know you're both, you and your person, adults. Right? And just because... Yeah, they don't, they don't have a specific story. They don't know who they were in a past life because they're an adult now and the salt, has been, it's all been mixed in with other things. Doesn't mean you don't feel it. You do feel it. You feel it as a knowing, right? You just know you love this person. You just know this person is somebody to you. You don't know why, but you know, okay? It's there. Just like you could taste the salt in the cookie, uh, right? The, the salt gets mixed into the cookie dough. You bake the cookie. You know the salt is in there. If, if you were on one of them baking shows on Food Network and you didn't put uh, salt in your cookie, the first thing 
uh, one of them guys on uh, judges would say, those famous bakers would say, is you, you, you didn't put any salt in here. They could taste it. You can't find it to pick it out. But you know it's there. They know it's there. They know there's a connection here. You're even Whether your person uses soulmate as a vernacular or not, doesn't matter. They just know. There's a knowing here. And there's a real sadness, by the way, that, uh, a melancholy a little bit, that this might be, and it might be too late. And that's part of what's generating these eight swords on their side, okay? What's on top? Yeah, page of cups. Wow, it's welling up. Love is welling up. Look, I'm just drawn to the wave, right? It's building. As a wave, a wave is small when it's offshore. As it gets closer to shore, it builds and builds and builds and builds. And right now, it's it. love is welling up inside the soul. The soul is uh, it, it's like one of them electric cars charging, right? It's just charging up with love. That's, that's what's happening here. Why is the page of cups here? Ten of Cups. Yeah, they're doing a lot of thinking about this person is well aware who you are. I mean, they don't know. They don't have a specific story about stagecoaches or anything like that. This eclipse is bringing clarity. All right, it's burning the house down, tearing it to the damn ground. Um, they're feeling every bit of it, every bit of it. And once they're in that clarity, there's a strong probability of them coming towards you. There's no doubt about it. They're getting slowed down a little bit by worry. Their usual bullshit about how you might, they might be too late or, or they, don't, you know, they, they don't really understand the, the, the connection or the love or why you matter or anything like that. But it doesn't matter. This emperor is looking longingly at those people off in the background and he's, he's fixing to just get up and go. Right? Just, just out of nowhere, get up and go. And that again, the tower energy is the overall energy of our reading. Anything can happen here. Okay, they're really feeling this. They really are. There's a there's a whole fairy tale playing out in their head as it as it builds up, as the energy builds. Uh, 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 Knight of Pentacles. Why is it here? What else does the universe want to tell us? Let's talk about this because this is th this is red with the Eight of Swords, and I, I can see how that would be slowing things down. It always does with your person. So again, I can't talk to them. They're probably not here. I can talk to you and tell you one side needs to be cool here. You're going to pick up on this energy. All of this, it welling up inside them, it might well up inside you. Just please, I'm telling you what it is. Know what it is and just let it flow through you. It's fine. Go about your day. Have a nice little barbecue or something. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. Why is the uh, Knight of Pentacles here? This is going to happen without your intervention. But it, too much energetic intervention on your part putting eight swords of your own against their eight swords is 16 swords. It's going to slow things down. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Let's go. Tell me about it. Queen of Swords. Again, the clarity. Um, the affecting energy that's really slowing things down is all these truths coming up for this person. The Eclipse brings clarity and it lasts. At least it's going to be super strong at least right up through the first week of June. Okay, so the, the rest of May. And I got some powerful readings planned for May. There's no doubt about it. All this truth coming to the surface. It's they they've detached from their feelings for so long. Your person's been shut down for so long that it's hard to face these truths. It slows them down. It puts them in eight swords. But the, they, I always tell you, with the Queen of Swords, you can't unknow it, right? So there's nothing they can do. I felt that over here in the soul energy. It's all just welling up. It's like a wave just building as it gets close to shore. A wave of emotion. What's on top? Four swords. Yeah. Um, again, there's a lot of heat. I, I just got done saying is what I just got done saying about how they've been shut down for a long time. Something hurt this person and they took it out on other energies around them. Right? Somebody else hurts them or something else hurt them at some point in their life. It could go all the way back to childhood. It could just be there with a spouse that cheated on them. And they just shut down emotionally. Nobody new comes in. Nobody new. I'm not letting anyone in. Whatever it is, they're healing from it. And what's funny about this is this Four of Swords, and that's part of what's slowing them down, is they need to put their head to rest, right? They need to shut the brain down. This is about resting your brain. Shh. It's like it, it, it's shh upright, okay? And it's red still with the Eight of Swords. Um, what this is saying here, what's, what's cool about this is it's red with the Nine of Wands. They, they do. Part of, what, part of the energy of this eclipse, what the universe is trying to tell us, is it does shut their brain down a little bit. It allows all of this to process, right? It allows everything to, it just tear, again, it just tears everything down. You could see all, you could see it clearly. You could see everything. And I think it does cause some action here. 
I do believe. Why is the Four of Swords here? And I'm right. It's the Knight of Cups. I did not know that was there. I do not look because I like to be surprised just like you. I, I want to get egg on my face. I want to be wrong because that's how I learn. That's how I get better at what I do. If I'm right all the time, I, I don't, you know, I get better, but, you know, I don't really learn anything new. I'm not learning anything new from this reading. I'm not wrong. It's the Knight of Cups. Uh, it's red with the Emperor. That tells me this son of a bitch is getting up off that throne. Get his lazy ass, come kneel before Zod, Burger King ass, off the goddamn throne and going over there. Because you might be taken. I'm, just, I'm drawn to the fact that there's two people here. This person knows, with, with what they're feeling for you in the soul, this person knows that somebody else is going to come snatch you up. And once they do, you're not going to take them back. You're not just going to dump that person and risk it for a biscuit for this damn person. You're not going to do that. That's a bad, that, that's, a, that's not a safe bet. Because, you know, it's just not. Past, past actions, you know, while they're not proof of future actions, it, it, this person hasn't set a very good example. They've been shut down. They've needed healing. They've, they've blown you off. They've run. All of that is changing here, at least in this energy. There's a moment here that rides at least right up through the first part of June where they feel like they can do it and they want to do it. They want to make some changes here. This is a cup of love. This, this bodes well because this is our lead-in card, this Knight of Cups, right? Coming towards you. It's a beautiful energy. I can tell you that. It leads right to a Two of Cups. Two soulmates coming together. This reading tells a story like every reading. Everything is connected. Yeah, we divide it out in positions. But it's all connected. It all tells a story. What's the Two of Cups here? Why is it here? What's the final final on this? I love that the overall energy is a tower. I knew this son of a bitch was going to go this way. Why is the Two of Cups here? Let's go. Tell me about it. Tell me about the Two of Cups. What's the final final on this? All right. Let's see. The affecting energy, crossing it. Look, we've been seeing this card a lot lately. It's the Six of Wands. It's victory. Again, what did I say? This I said this is beautiful energy. I'm not lying to you. It is. It's nice. And it leads, this beautiful Knight of Cups leads us right to two soulmates coming together. Two long lost soulmates, by the way. This has been going on a long time. This Ace of Pentacles takes forever. Grandma on the freeway at 15 miles an hour. And this is an energy of, as Kawinky Dink would have it, victory after a long battle. Oh. Uh, this is communication on top of communication, okay? And it's also transformation. Mm -hmm. It is victory as well. What's on top? This, this card, this first card is why the Two of Cups is here, and it's red with the world. The Nine of Pentacles, because somebody is free. Something's changed. Something's happening. It's everything I told you. These cards are red with these cards. It's everything I told you about the transformation going on on their side. Somebody has found themselves. In this eclipse energy, they get clarity. Clarity can make you very brave, right? If you, if you did something wrong and, and, and you just keep fakey McFakerman lying to yourself that it doesn't matter, trying to carpet sweep it, push it down, get rid of it, like that Queen of Wands that's crossing over here. Um, it's very easy. It, it's it's you know it's easy just to run away and walk away. But but when you get clarity and you see how poorly you behaved, you see the emperor sees what an asshole they were here and what they missed out on. You can get very brave. You get you want to fix it, right? Oh my God, I didn't realize I did that to you. I'm sorry. That that kind of energy is here. It is. Uh, even for your person. So somebody's, you know, situation is changing. Could be single and free to pursue. Could have just found themselves. You know, either way, this, 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 this eclipse energy wells up the emotions. It tears everything down. There's, there's clarity here. They get to see how they behaved. And, and you can see the action that comes after that. Most of that is right here. And then look at everything that comes after it. Oh my God, I need to fix this. You know, before it's too late. And it, and it might be too late for some of you. I don't know. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? This, this next card is why the Nine of Pentacles is here. It's our final final. And it's red with the um, Ace of Pentacles. And it's quite a card. It's two cards that wanted to come out together. I will show them to you. Uh, which, which order were they? They were this. The Eight of Pentacles. Somebody finally wanting to work on this. But also I want to point out. The Eight of Pentacles. This is an interesting order that these are in. Why? Because I asked, why is the Nine of Pentacles here? And the universe threw me the Eight of Pentacles. It didn't reverse these. Right? Uh, it's 
the Eight of Pentacles is the apprentice. He's working hard to get to the Nine of Pentacles. This person, this energy that we're pulling on the Eclipse energy, causes this person to, this backs up everything I just told you about the clarity. And seeing clearly that, oh shit, I behaved an asshole here. I've been lying and saying I don't want this. And yet I have all these feelings welling up. I can't, you know, it, it's like that. That's why we have a Knight of uh, Wands as far as their approach. It's a brave action, yes, but it's impulsive. It's, oh my God, I see now. I understand what happened here. I need to do something. Might be too late, but you know, I'm going to tell myself some stories and slow myself down a little, but I need to do something here. The other card is the King of Pentacles. So that, that explains perfectly why the Nine of Pentacles is here. And it also ties with the Ace of Pentacles because it's taken them a long time. But this is happening quickly. This Eclipse energy is just sort of bringing it all in. It's just pumping it in, right? They've been filling their swimming pool with a garden hose. Now the fire truck is showing up. And it's going to fill it a hell of a lot quicker. Uh, the King of Pentacles is here, by the way. They now understand... It's very interesting because a lot of this is, this is, both of these cards, the King of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles, are why the Nine of Pentacles is here. Um, this person has, has put their faith in the wrong people. That's very strange to come up in the energy here in the final outcome. But it's somebody who now sees you as the real deal. You're the one, and we saw that with the Ten of Pentacles in the pre-shuffle at the very beginning of this reading. Uh, along with the Six of Pentacles. Now they want to give to this. Um, this. This person has a very high opinion of you. Um, and that's one of the things that they see in the clarity as well. Once they put down all their pretense, all the bullshit they tell themselves, all the lies they tell about what's going on in their life and all of that, once they put that down, they really, this emperor here really sees what they passed up, what they missed out on, how lonely they are just sitting over here by themselves on that throne with all their stuff around them. It's just stuff. That's it. Look at how much fun these two are having over here. You know, that's that's the cups over here. That's, that's love out there in the distance. He got the love down here off to the side. He's been holding on to it. So again, uh, there's stability coming to this connection. Two soulmates come together and it actually is a, in this energy of the eclipse, it's a fruitful communication. It is. Now I'm not going to tell you that all of you, your person's coming in. I can't say that. But this, I can tell you what the energy is. This is what they're feeling. They, the, your person might chicken out. They might be some kind of super fuckwit. I don't know. But I don't think too many of them can, can pass this up. This is, this is real clarity here. All right? Well, so let's, let's ask the universe uh, for three cards and a crossing card. Uh, anything else you want to tell everybody here before I go pull some wicked voodoo? Because we, we got a lot of changes happening. Okay, clarity on what? What, what have they got clarity on? That's what, that's what we're going to look at in the extended. What's, what's this clarity? What is it? And, you know, what the, hell's, what, what the hell's changing here? What happened? And also how they might approach. Because I think there's a... I think it's a strange approach. It, it's a surprise. It's different than what you might expect. Is kind of the energy. And, uh, we'll see. A tower with a knight of wands. Anything can happen. Uh, let's see what the universe wants to tell you before we go pull some wicked voodoo. Maybe this will help us out a little bit. Give me three cards and a bottom card. Okay. Uh, a soul contract is being fulfilled here. I get that sometimes off the magician card when I'm drawn to the infinity symbol here on the big cat. Um, and that's what I'm drawn to. Um, it's the eight of pentacles, the nine of swords. It's cards from the pre-shuffle coming back and the ten of pentacles crossing the eight of pentacles here. These are red center, left, right. Uh, with the ten of pentacles here crossing the eight of pentacles, somebody is what I told you. It's part of the soul contract here. Somebody's been working against the energy of their life. They've been working against their soul's true purpose. They've been putting their trust in the wrong people. They've been uh, giving their love to the wrong people for the wrong reasons. Giving their trust to the wrong people for the wrong reasons. Maybe doing the wrong job. Okay, maybe they thought they wanted to be uh, a secretary. I don't know. Maybe they, maybe they thought they wanted to be something and then kind of realized they didn't want to be it, but then kept doing it anyway because they were supposed to and that could apply to a marriage that could apply to a relationship it could apply to almost anything either way there's a there's a, a soul contract that's being fulfilled here it was a lesson they were supposed to learn and right here they're learning it the hard way and they have the, this clarity that comes in from this eclipse yes it keeps this person up at night no doubt about it um but it's it's keeping them up at night for different reasons than it used to. It's keeping them up at night now because, again, of what I told you about this emperor seeing what an asshole they've been. All right? What a phony ass sitting over here. That all they got is nothing. 
All they got is them sitting in this chair with all this stuff. They don't have anything. And they passed up a chance to you. You were the one, you, you were their way out. I've, so I've told you that before in extended readings in particular. You were their way out. And they blew it off. They can see that. But what's nice about this energy, it's not only that they can see it, right? It, it now, the, in the soul energy, the feelings are welling up, right? It's starting to come up and they're starting to really feel it. Really feel it. This, this inner knowing of needing to reach out and that's why we end with the knight of cups to the two of cups and again there's been some transformation within your person we need to find out a little bit about what that is what what is this clarity revealing to this emperor sitting here in the chair okay we'll find out if you want the extended it's there for you i want it because i'm studying this soulmate cycle so i definitely need it uh the link is in the description it's there if you want it i uh, hope this reading was helpful again for most of you this leads to communication just let the energies play out, please. Okay, let the energy flow. Take the advice I gave. What I said in yesterday's weekly reading holds true. All my readings tie together. And this is about what I thought would happen for the eclipse reading, if that means anything to you. Uh, it is. Uh, but you got to let the energy flow. All right, just, just be cool on your side. They're going to tell themselves some stories which will slow them down, but it's not enough. There, re there is a point where their brain shuts down, where the moment of when, when the dust starts to settle from the eclipse. And I believe that emperor gets up off that chair for sure. All right. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If I helped one person today, I've done my job, karmically speaking, anyway. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. It looks like two soulmates are coming together rather suddenly. And... It's all part of a soul contract, which is kind of cool, you know, because I think what I see here is I think on your side of the soul contract, you fulfilled it. Most of you have found your self-worth. You know you're not going to, going forward in the future, you're not going to give to something that's not given back to you. Well, that's self-worth, right? You know your value. This person knows your value too. It's just time for them to get real. And this is giving them the opportunity to actually get real and try to come fix it and go, oh, shit, what did I do? And come in and fix it basically what this reading is showing. All right. Uh, if you want the extended, the link is in the description. All right. Good luck.